All right, so in today's video, we're going to be checking out Flux, and it's going to be a review in terms of what hash rate can we get on the A2000, A4000, and A5000. And before we get into it, as you're passing through, please smash that like button, it really helps the channel out. Let's get right into the video. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so here's my take while mining Flux using the A2000, A4000, and A5000. You can see here the three GPUs I'm talking about. You can see their speed. So we're talking about for the A2000, I was able to get 28.1 sols per second. That's given a 0.41 sols per watt, which from what I gather is very good efficiency. You can see A4000, you can get, um, I'm fairly, fairly stable really, to be honest, it's getting 52 sols per second. And the A5000, A5000 was a wee bit tricky to be honest, like I've, I've been struggling to, I thought I would be able to maybe get up in, into the 80 sols per second, but unfortunately I've only really managed to get around 74 sols per second. So you can see that the A5000 has actually got the lowest uh, efficiency rating between the three cards. So just to say as well, this I am using a G minor, I think version 2.72, and that's for Windows. Also, I am mining to two minor pool. So yeah, so that's that's an example of what we're getting here. And I'll just go over and show the MSI for the three different cards. So here on MSI Afterburner, you can see I have plus 300 on the core clock, this is again for the A2000, plus 300 on the core clock, zero on the memory, 100% power limit, 95% fan. Go over to the A4000 here, on the MSI Afterburner, we have plus 255 megahertz on the core clock, zero on the memory, or plus zero on the memory, again 100% power limit, 100% fan. Okay, so you can see here on the NVIDIA RTX A5000, the core clock is plus 400, the memory is plus zero, power limit again is 100%, and the fan speed is 100%. Do have to say on the A5000, I wonder if there is actually a slightly better setting you can get this to. Please uh, draw, if you've, mind flux on the a5000 before and you have better sense please drop them in the comment section below that would be fantastic so knowing all that i think we'll just quickly jump into the profitability um and we'll see how flux compares compared to ethereum for instance okay let's go and see that this is just a quick comparison of eth mining eth right now which is november 2021 and it's a straight comparison of the a2000 while mining eth against mining flux and as you can see from the figures I've plugged in their hash rates and wattages you can see from the figures here obviously that um, ETH is uh, winning in terms of profitability um, one thing to note is I haven't put in a cost of electricity but obviously that varies with everybody so plug in your own values there but yeah mining ETH is definitely more profitable at the minute if you're just doing a straight um, comparison and to be honest personally for myself yeah I'm just going to be mining ETH until ETH, ETH ends at the minute not unless something gets more profitable but ETH at the minute for the majority of cards is more profitable so yeah not not a big surprise there obviously okay so for the 3000 series cards I just took some sample values off uh, a mining calculator called Cryptech so maybe you can get more efficient than this, but I don't know, I haven't mined Flux on these cards. So these are just examples, but you can see that the 3070 and 30A are very similar to the A4000 and A5000 in terms of efficiency. Very, very similar. But obviously, as we know, the A2000, which loads of people are calling the efficiency king, as always, uh, has definitely the best efficiency. So, hey, that's just something to note. It doesn't have the best hash rate, but it does have a very good efficiency. So if you're looking for efficiency, A2000, nearly on all the algorithms, but on uh, obviously ETH and Flux, the A2000 has great efficiency. So that is something to bear in mind. 
Okay, so that's all from today's video. And as you can see, the A2000 again absolutely kills it in terms of efficiency uh, on mining flux. The other two cards, the A4000, A5000, they're pretty comparable compared to, you know, the, the 3070 and the 3080. They're very similar, you know, you can give or take it depending on uh, some of your slight alterations and sends and also the variation in some of the models and makes a card, so hey, whatever. But um, we just would recommend this for minor flux. To be honest, the A2000, I would say, obviously, because it's very good efficiency, I would recommend. And also, if you can get an MSRP, obviously, it's great. Um, but personally, myself, with all these A1000 series cards, I'm just going to be mining straight Ethereum at the minute. As you can see, the profitability uh, on these cards, while well, mining Ethereum is greater than the values you can get while mining Flux. But hey, it's a good alternative and also you never know what will happen to the, the Flux network. Maybe the profitability will become more, who knows, but yeah, it's a, it's a good option, it's a good option. So I just want to say, while, you're, while you go through here, please, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Also consider subscribing and all I want to say is thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day everybody and we'll see you on the next video. Bye just now.